Hey guys, today I'm going to kind of give you an update on a couple of things. One is the uh, Airbnb remodel, the kitchen we're doing. Again, I don't know if you guys remember from a video uh, a few weeks ago, I did, uh, I showed you something the wife found on Pinterest or whatever, she really wanted it. It was this waterfall table. I'm going to show you what it does, it's kind of cool. And I'll get into kind of how I built it. I didn't document it on video, but I will show you kind of the, uh, the slides that I made. But this thing, for an Airbnb, you want it to kind of be expandable, it's sort of like a leaf in a table, but it's going to slide out all the way out of the table and just drop into a thing right there, so it basically grows by four feet. Um, I'll get into how, all I, how I did that and how it works, and show you kind of the front side. I don't have my drawers, but effectively, the drawers are just going to slide. There's a space about this thick, there's drawers above and below. But before I do that, I got this acacia wood top uh, butcher block that I got um, from Southeastern Salvage. Any of you guys that live in the South know about Southeastern Salvage. It's just kind of a store that's got a lot of really good deals on uh, architectural products. And it came, I got a good deal on it, but it's got a few little cracks and nicks. So I'm gonna use a couple different colors of wood filler to try to match it. And I'm probably gonna put a little stain on it just to sort of mute the really light tones. They're just kind of, even them out. I don't know yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna test some stain I got. I probably won't be able to poly it until tomorrow, but you'll at least be able to get the feel for the whole thing. So stay tuned for that. And at the end, I'm gonna show you uh, some good news on the uh, on the training front because I got a, an approval Friday on the uh, on the garage that's gonna be next to the pool. So I think I'll have, have a little more ICF content ready to rock and roll at the end of the month. Okay guys, so I've got the wood filler in, in the few little uh, imperfections in this, in this top. So I'm gonna try to grab it here and remove it so I can show you the inner workings. While this dries, and then I will, uh, I will sand it, route the edges, and then like I said, I'm gonna test some stain on the backside, make sure I like it, and then do that. But I wanna show you kinda how this thing works. You see I've got a drawer, for, uh, opening here and I've got one below so I've got like a four inch face frame um, and then I've got a big drawer at the bottom that's gonna hold pots and pans and stuff so I want to just kind of show you as I pull this out what it's gonna look like on the inside I made these slides because I couldn't find a slide system that wasn't ridiculous that I was uh, in love with the way it worked so what I used is the V groove bearings um, I will put a link in the description just because they're, they're kind of uh, special or they're not terribly hard to find. But I've, I've used those before. If you've noticed in my shop, um, I, I have that Craig table. And the, basically, I have a little piece of flat steel. I'll, I'll take it underneath the uh, table real quick and show you the other, the other piece. That I just have a piece of eighth inch steel. Let me see here. Um, under the table take you under here and so I've got that steel piece right there that the v-groove that slides in the v-groove like train tracks so that's actually how it slides in there just rolls right in there on the v-groove bearing see that and so that created a good sturdy slide I mean I've got tube steel holding the whole thing together um, so it's not going to uh, to have an issue and you can probably see these little recesses in the floor I actually kind of hillbillied that I used uh, pocket door uh, holders or pocket door grabs and what that's doing totally sturdy right now there's no rock there's no movement it's no wheels you can move it with just a feet and it sits on the floor so those wheels are just kind of suspended just gives it that little recess I just thought of that because you can step on it doesn't make any difference but that's, that's sort of the mechanism. My wife found a similar situation. It was kind of like a, it was Pinterest. It was like a Chinese Pinterest and it was really weird. But I just had to uh, kind of invent it. I don't think I'm gonna hook these up tonight. I got a black GFI and a black uh, Decora square receptacle cover. So they'll just kind of blend in. Um, I'm probably gonna have like four short bar stools sitting under the table here and two slightly taller ones for the uh, bar. So it'll easily seat six. Uh, you could probably do more if you wanted. Um, 
but I'll have a coffee table and stuff right there in the living room. So I'm gonna get back to the uh, the top. Okay guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Like I said, you're going to see in just a second at the end of the video, I trimmed trees all day because we got the permit issued for the garage and I, the ground was frozen enough that I was able to move the lift around. It's been stuck in the mud for days. Just so you guys know, I used Bear, just from Home Depot, uh, Jaco Bean, or Jaco Bean B3504. It really gave this a nice tone because I didn't want it to have any of that yellow um, because I'm, I'm so gray toned in this house with the black cabinet, the gray floors, the kind of Carrera laminate. Um, I kind of needed it to have more of a gray tone. I think we kind of pulled that off. I brought the wife over when I tried the back and wasn't positive I liked it. She liked it, so that's all that really matters. Tomorrow, I will put the matte polyurethane on it attach it we'll, we'll do craig screws from underneath i'll go ahead and put the five drawers in wire everything and i'll show you on the walkthrough i got some of those things from ikea which sounds crazy but they're the best about one thing they have those little led lights that mount to the bottom of the face frames when you and their proximity sensor so when you open the drawer they light up the drawer everything else has cool leds but this island i didn't really have anywhere to hide them because i don't have these little recessed uh, grooves because I had to have the table sliding. So just to kind of make it stick with the theme of everything lights up, uh, I'm going to have the top four drawers light up when you open it. It's kind of a cool factor. Like I said, Airbnbs, you want to kind of go the extra mile to, you know, maximize. Uh, but anyway, I will uh, take you to the update on the uh, training and then I will see you guys next week. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the little, uh, kitchen remodel in that little crazy island I did for the wife. Um, but I got some exciting stuff. Uh, as you know, we're doing the uh, training here at uh, the end of, the, of March, and we're digging the pool Monday. And right before, I was starting to think it wasn't gonna happen, but as, as you know from an earlier video, I had a, plans to build a garage back here at ICF. It's like 50 feet away from the pool. We could uh, kind of look at both of them, just a little bonus uh, stuff to uh, look at. And I wasn't sure it was going to happen. The city took forever to approve the permit, but it came through Friday. So I think we're going to dig the footings the same time we dig the pool. And I'm not sure exactly what state it'll be in, but it'll definitely be there for the training. So that's exciting. Uh, it caused me to have to start trimming this tree because I didn't want the canopy up here to be hanging out over my brand new garage. So I have dropped a boatload of tree limbs um, today from the lift. And... Uh, yeah, I got a lot of cleanup to do. That said, I got to tell you, I'm not a big affiliate marketer. I know all of us YouTubers are supposed to do all that, but I just had uh, picked this up. It's a 60 volt uh, DeWalt chainsaw. My dad had a still that I was pretty impressed with. I only had a 14 inch bar and some of these limbs were, you know, needed to be bigger. I hate having to, I have a still uh, gas powered chainsaw, but I hate having to handle it up on a lift. And I got this thing and it is just hung in tough today. I mean, I have, halfway cut down a tree with it so i will link this in the description i don't care if you guys like it or not want it uh but i absolutely recommend this thing it's the uh, 60 volt brushless chainsaw with a 22 inch bar or the 16 inch bar but anyway i will see you guys uh next week